On November 17, we got to experience the premiere of 1899, a new Netflix series from the creators of Dark, Baron Bo Otter and Yancha Fries. Even though the series just got released, we have some questions that still need to be answered. And unfortunately, we won't get those answers, most likely, until they release a second season, which is obviously coming based on how this season ended. Here's the thing. Just because we don't have some of those answers, doesn't mean that we can't do some theories of our own. One thing that kept our minds wondering was Henry, Moore's father, and Elliot's grandfather. There's so much information about him that was provided to us throughout the series, yet not enough to satisfy our curious minds. Therefore, on today's video we will be looking at this interesting character and who he really is in this series. Henry Singleton When we first see this man it's at the start of the series. We see how Mora is taken by some of his quote employees acting like she's crazy and needs to be restrained. Whilst this is happening, Mora says the following, I know what I've seen. I'm not crazy. What did you do to my brother? Where is my brother? He was on the Prometheus. He found out what you were doing on these ships. Why don't I remember? What have you done to my memory? Afterwards she screams once again that she isn't crazy. The thing is, when all of this is happening Henry is just shown to us as a silhouette. It isn't until that final scream that comes from Mora that Henry steps out of the shadows and we see his face, only to have him whisper wake up and everything shifting to the Kerberos ship where Mora wakes up. From there we are led to believe that he is the one responsible for everything that's happening on the ship. Even though we don't see him physically, on the end of the second episode we see that the passengers of the Kerberos are being watched on multiple TV screens. Which of course helps with our perception of the character making us believe he is the villain of the story. We get to see him once more in the fifth episode of the series. The thing is, we get to see him exactly as we saw him in the first episode. All of this because of Mora's dream. That is until the end of this episode when he receives a message from the first mate of the Kerberos. In this moment we get to see that he has an interest in Elliot, it is no secret that the reason behind this interest is because of the pyramid that the boy is carrying everywhere and that in multiple occasions he tries to give to Mora. By the next episode we know that her father also owns the building where she keeps getting dragged and getting her memory erased. But the worst is yet to come when it comes to this building. When Ake and Mora get to the building she explains that it's a mental hospital. She also explains that her father built that for her mother and that she was the only one that he would ever show affection to. Mora also explained that her mother had two children, her brother and herself. And that with each birth she became less and less of who she used to be. That at first, she just started to forget things and that then she started to forget their names. Eventually, she forgot them. Mora continues to explain that her father resented his children for it. He wanted his wife to get better, so he built the mental hospital in order to understand how the human brain worked and how to repair it if it was damaged. Eventually they get to the room 1011 of the building, which is the same room where we've seen Mora get locked up in numerous occasions. Along the series Mora explains that her father wants her to think that she was a patient at that mental hospital, yet she knows she worked there as a doctor. But we'll get back to this later. Back to Henry, we see him a couple more times still searching for Elliot and the pyramid. Eventually he gets what he wants, they manage to capture Elliot and take the pyramid away. By this point in the story, we see that Henry talks through a PA system. He tells both Mora and Daniel they've come far this time, in the simulation, and that even though Daniel used the Prometheus to regain access they still failed, yet again, and that the simulation will restart itself like it always has and the loop will start over once more. Henry then explains to Mora that she has something that he wants, to hand over the key and she gets to keep her son. He then proceeds to tell her that she knows where to find him. But the simulation never restarts, not this time. This is because Daniel changed the code. Here is where things get interesting. Elliot wakes up from in his grandfather's office. Henry starts talking with his grandson and tells him, I'm sure your father told you all about me. But he probably left out the bit that explains why we're truly here. You and me. He then explains that the passengers were on the trip because they made the choice to forget their past. But now they're all stuck in the simulation just like them. He continues by saying, your mother has fooled you. She has fooled all of us. She's the only person that can get us out of here. Henry then tells his grandson that if he's brave enough, he can show him the truth. Elliot decides to follow his grandfather. 
Henry then continues by saying that our brain is a very complicated construct and that as much as we try to forget the things we don't want to remember, we will never be able to delete them entirely, that's because they're part of who we are. They go to the mental hospital and in there, Henry continues by saying, even if we delete memories in the simulation, our senses are still reacting to the same triggers. He then explains to Elliot that his mind may not remember what happened in room 1011 but his body does. And that he knows that he thinks that it's Mora who's trapped in the simulation, but that's not the case. He then assures him that it's his prison, not hers. Henry proceeds to inject a serum into Elliot's system. Showing us the following. You know this isn't right. Um, Please. You have to let him go. I can't. Don't be afraid. Forget. Promise. Let's get this ever happened. It's the only way, the only way for us to be together. So just like Mora said previously, she did work in the mental hospital, but it wasn't like she thought. She was trying to keep her son alive, and Daniel tried to convince her to let his son go. That death is a natural thing. Yet she still couldn't bear to lose his child. A spooked Elliot refuses to accept reality and even accuses his grandfather of planning false memories. At the end Elliot believes him. We all know how it ends, we know that Daniel changed the code therefore the pyramid and key that Henry acquires don't work. And Mora is the one that ends up waking up like Daniel always wanted to. But this leaves us thinking. What is Henry? What is his true purpose? We know that even though he isn't the creator he does have the roles of it. This is because he makes sure to look over Mora and the other passengers. Not only that, but we can also assume that Henry is a program designed to keep the loop running. And as we know, Mora's brother, Kieran, is revealed to have taken over Project Prometheus. Does this mean that Henry is working for his son? No matter how you interpret Henry, it seems like Mora and Kieran think of him as an antagonist, based on what Mora explained to Ake in the mental hospital. If Henry exists in Mora's mind only, in real life, he must have been an oppressive force. If Henry is a program created by Kieran to torment Mora, then maybe in real life, he did the same to Kieran and preferred Mora over him. Therefore, he's turning the tables artificially to give Mora a taste of his experience with their father. Why? That is a question for a future video. What do you think about this theory? Do you think Henry is a program? Don't forget to leave your opinion in the comment section below. But that building over there belongs to my father. You tried to get rid of your pain, but all you did was create more pain. People are oblivious to reality. They only see what they want to see. Thanks for watching the video. And remember that if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. This has been All Around.